Hello everyone. Before we start today, I want to talk about some of the less good things that have been happening across the country and that we've heard about in Medway this week. I've been really sad to think about the unrest on our streets, the thuggery and violence and unkindness that's been directed towards some of our diverse communities. And I want to start by thanking the police and our council officers who've been supporting the police for keeping everyone in Medway as safe as we can. Medway is a diverse community. There are people here who've been making a success of their lives over many years from many lands and long may that continue. I'm very proud that we live in a diverse community and I value the contribution that everyone makes. And I want to send the strongest possible message that violence, intimidation, discrimination won't be tolerated here and racism won't either. We will work together against those things and work together to show all that's good about our community. And I think it's important that we remember together as well where this started. This started with the massacre of children in Southport and that community will be recovering and coming together for a long time. But their message is the same as ours. We don't tolerate racism. We don't tolerate violence. We want peace and we want to look after each other. And you've got my assurance from the council that if you're from a diverse community, if you're from an ethnic minority, we want you here. We love you. We want you to stay and we'll do everything we can to keep you safe. Now, I have got some good news. Good news this week is that we're launching our virtual house. And you might think, well, what's that about actually? It's about keeping people safe in their own homes. But the Virtual House is an interactive online tool which is available to support people of all ages for independent living. It includes things like occupational therapy equipment, physical support aids to help you around the house, and new modern assistive technology to monitor how you're feeling and send messages to the people looking after you that you're going to be okay. We've developed the tool by Medway Council and Kindy for those who want to find out what's available if you need to make changes at home to make it safer and easier for you to move around and do everyday tasks and importantly stay in your own home. It's a fantastic tool but it's only one aspect of what we can offer to help people lead healthy happy lives and prevent people getting poorly if they're getting older or something's changed in your life. There are care services, meals on wheels for people who struggle cooking for themselves, alarm systems to raise an alert for those needing help. There's so much available, along with our lovely human social care and care staff who work with us all through the year in your homes, in care homes, and in other settings to make sure that if you need help, you can get exa exactly what you need. There's a wealth of information on how to deal with loneliness and other issues that might help people living on their own. So if you want to have a look at the virtual house, you can do that, do that by visiting our website. And if you struggle a bit with technology, you can phone our social care staff or you can visit one of our hubs and libraries where there'll be a digital champion to help you have a look at it. And you can use that to see what support might be available for you in the future. Even if you don't need it now, it's good to plan for things sometimes. So have a look at our virtual house. Think about how we want to keep you safe and independent. And look, I want you, everybody in Medway, to have the best modern technology they can. And I'm looking forward to even more developments. But this is the first of many, so give it a try.